Hi, Olin Tangi. This is your treasurer, Ryan Jenkins, and welcome to the final segment in our series informing the community about Delaware County's property valuation reappraisal taking place this year. Let's jump in. This session is focused on the difference between voted and unvoted levies. Article 12, Section 2 of the Ohio Constitution in Ohio Revised Code 5705.02 explain that up to 1% of a home's taxable value can be taxed without a vote. 1% is the same as 10 mills, which is equivalent to $350 of taxes per $100,000 of market value of a home. This is known as the 10 mill limitation, and all of the political subdivisions in a taxing district have a share of those 10 mills. Olentangy Schools has issued a total of 56.2 effective mills that are assessed in the district. Of those 56.2 mills, Olentangy has been allotted five inside mills that do not change. Therefore, as home values increase, those five mills which are approximately 8.9% of the district's total tax rate, are locked in to allow for growth. On the chart, you can see our voted and unvoted millage. The unvoted five mills, or inside mills, at the very top of the chart do not change. All other millage is voted and subject to change. A quick note about bond millage. To determine the bond millage each year, the county auditor reviews what a school district needs to collect to pay its debt service and then ensures that the millage across all properties creates only enough taxes to cover debt service payments. Ultimately, we have worked with our auditor to leave the bond millage alone in most years because Olentangy Schools has grown large very quickly and this allows the district to issue debt needed to build new schools without increasing the tax rate. This strategy is called no new millage. The chart on your screen shows three different hypothetical reappraisal results in Olentangy schools. You can see that if the reappraisal of the district is at 35%, we anticipate that the effective tax rate measured in mills will decrease by a little over 20%. If the district has a 30% increase in value, we anticipate that the effective tax rate, again measured in mills, will fall by about 18%. Finally, if the district has a 25% increase in value, we expect the effective tax rates, once again measured in mills, to drop by about 15.5%. When we began this series, I shared three hypothetical homes and how a reappraisal will affect the homeowners in the 2023 tax year, which will be paid in 2024. Based on an analysis of the voted effective millage, the following can be concluded if home values in our district increase by 35%. Home A was valued at $250,000 in 2022 and is reappraised by the county auditor with a 25% increase to $312,500. This homeowner school district taxes are expected to decrease by about half a percent. Home B was valued at $450,000 in 2022 and is reappraised by the county auditor with a 30% increase to $585,000. This homeowner school district taxes are expected to increase nominally by about three and a half percent. And finally, Home C's value increases the most rapidly, valued at $650,000 in 2022, but reappraised for $877,500, which is a 35% increase in 2023. It's also equal to the overall forecasted valuation growth for the county. That homeowner school district taxes are anticipated to increase by about seven and a half percent. Note that in all three scenarios, the homes were reappraised at a higher percentage, but that did not lead to higher taxes in all three scenarios. And in the scenarios where school district taxes did increase, the tax increases were nowhere near the same percentage increases as the increases in reappraised values.
Thank you for sticking with me through this video series. Please share these videos with other residents so that they are informed on the reappraisal process and dispel any misnomers on how taxes in school districts are affected. And remember, a school district does not automatically receive large increases in local tax dollars when property values increase. For those who want to learn more about voted millage, visit our district website and watch my treasurer's report at the June 20th Board of Education meeting. Thank you again.